Hi, I'm Lauren e. Miller, and welcome to the program entitled Stress Solutions for the Soul, one of the many programs offered by StressSolutionsUniversity.com. Today I'm going to give you a practice for meditation that you can use to jumpstart your morning, midday, later afternoon, or even before bed. What I invite you to do is to simply find a place where you can relax, either into a chair or on a sofa, or even lying down in your bed. A place where you can simply let go of the body and feel safe. And I'd like to invite you to take a deep breath, starting with the exhale. And the more you exhale, the more your body relaxes into whatever it is that is holding your body in this moment, whether it be the chair, the sofa, the bed. Simply giving yourself permission to relax into your body, breathing out all the way and relaxing as you take a deep inhale breath. And repeat this at least three to five times as you relax your body. And as you're breathing deeply, simply have a a small statement that you're saying in your internal voice. The more I breathe deeply, the more relaxed my body becomes. The more I breathe in deeply, the more relaxed my body becomes. The more I exhale completely, the more I'm able to release the worries of my mind and lean into my body, becoming more and more relaxed. Now I'd like you to focus on an attribute that you would like to see show up in your life more consistently. I invite you to explore the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. Take a moment and identify one specific attribute that you would like to see more of in your day-to-day life, whether it be kindness coming your way, love, more joy, more self-control, which gives birth to inner confidence in who you are by self-controlling your thoughts and false beliefs that no longer serve you. Choose one attribute that you would like to see more of in your life. And visualize the word using the gift of your imagination to simply imagine that word before you. And for the sake of an example, I'm going to choose love this morning. Desiring to see more love, the experience of love in your life. And as you think of this word, I'd like you to imagine using the gift of your memory of what love feels like for you. What does the experience of love look like? What does it feel like in your body when you experience a moment of love? And what is the intonation of love like for you? Is it gentle? Is it soft? Is it strong? Is it confident? Tune into your experience of love. You've had plenty of practice on your timeline. I'm inviting you to resurrect the sensory acuity that you have linked to the experience of love. What do you feel like, look like, sound like when you're in the experience of love, according to your perception? And as you drop into this sensory memory, stay connected to your breath as you're breathing in and releasing. And now adding one more element to your breathing exercise, and this is spiritual breathing. We're leaning back into our soul, what our soul already knows. God is with us. We lack nothing in our ability to resurrect the fruit of the Spirit we desire to experience more of 
within our day-to-day -day life. So simply relaxing into your soul, connecting to your breath. As you breathe in, imagine breathing in the experience of more love into your life. That feeling of love, the sound of love, your experience of love, breathing that deeper into your biology and exhaling with the intention of releasing anything that you are aware of in this moment that is blocking your ability to remember what love feels like, looks like, and sounds like in your life. Breathing in and releasing any resistance to the experience of love. And now simply focusing on the word love, you're going to incorporate it into your breathing. And as you breathe in, as you exhale, you're going to verbalize the word love during the exhale. Love. Breathing in again. Love. Breathing in again. Love. And one more time, breathing in again easily and naturally. As you are breathing and saying the word that has attached to it the sensory memory of what that word feels like, looks like, and sounds like to you, you are able to resurrect that emotional experience of that specific fruit of the spirit to the front lines of your response to life. So as you are breathing in and out using the word love, I invite you to go a little bit deeper. As you are exhaling and saying the word you desire to experience more of in your life, the fruit of the spirit, this morning we're choosing the fruit of the spirit, love. As you are exhaling and saying that word, I invite you to go beyond the word now as you focus in on the sensory memory of what that word feels like, looks like, and sounds like. Let your imagination wander into your timeline experience of moments of love. So as you're exhaling, simply give the Holy Spirit permission to access and resurrect those moments that are linked to your experience of love in life that you desire to see more of in your day-to-day -day life. So as you breathe in, exhale, saying the word love, let your imagination wander to the attributes of love. So go beyond the word to the experience attached to that word. Love. As I was saying that word this time, I was recalling the moments that I shared love with my children this last week. So you're bringing to the front lines, once again, using the gift of your imagination, your experience with the word, the fruit of the spirit you want to feel more of, experience more of in your life. And as I've taught before and have been taught before, love evokes more love. Peace evokes peace. Kindness evokes kindness. If you desire more love in your life, the initial step to make that a reality for you is to resurrect 
your experience, the energy around your experience of love within your castle. Then that energy radiates through the crystal castle, as St. Teresa of Avila refers to, out into the world like a magnet and attracts more of that experience, that fruit of the spirit. So love evokes love. Self-control evokes self-control. As you commit to the experience of self-control over your negative thinking or false beliefs or judgments, criticisms, comparisons within your life, you free others to explore stepping out of those blocks as well. So use this simple word meditation methodology throughout your day. I begin my day with this. The word that I use as I begin my day is another uh, semantical expression of Jesus, which is Yeshua. So as I begin my day, I'll breathe in at least 10 to 15 times. On the exhale, I will breathe in, and then I say the word Yeshua with the exhale. And as I'm saying the word Yeshua, Jesus, I'm thinking about how he showed up in life. He wasn't confined by status or the opinions of other people. So as I'm meditating on the word Jesus, the name Jesus, I'm also moving past the word with my imagination and contemplating how he showed up and linking my desire to show up in the same way. So you can use this framework, this template, and apply any word or attribute you desire to see more of within your life. Enjoy this practice of meditation. It brings you out of your head, helps you drop into your biology. As you're breathing in and exhaling the the blocks or resistance to your desired state of being, and you resurrect to the front lines, the word and attributes, the fruit of the Spirit you desire to see more of in this life. And as you're breathing it into your biology, you literally shift the energy waves, quantum physically speaking, that you're putting out into the world. And it's exciting, fun, and easy to see it come back to you naturally and consistently throughout your day. Make this a daily practice. Start in the morning and give yourself a boost midday this week. And then record the shifts that you notice seeing because whatever you acknowledge and honor, you get to see more of that showing up in your life. Enjoy your gift of life today and enjoy making prayer and meditation part of your everyday lifestyle. I'm Lauren E. Miller, founder of StressSolutionsUniversity.com. For more details and resources, please visit my main website at laurenemiller.com. Explore the audio CD series.